Hello everyone. My name is Alexander George. I teach at Amherst College and have lived in Northampton since 1992. There are so many special features of our city, but a truly sparkling gem in its crown is the Forbes Library. It's been at the center of our intellectual, cultural, and community life for well over a century. I'd be honored to help promote its mission as a member of its Board of Trustees. Let me mention two facets of that mission that I find important. The first is the extraordinary work the Forbes' leadership and staff have done to bring the community, in all its variety, into the library. The Forbes encourages a broad spectrum of Northamptonites to enter its doors through active and imaginative programming. It continues to expand the kinds of materials it loans and the cultural, artistic, and intellectual events it sponsors. Books are, of course, central, but when someone comes to visit the library for a lecture, a movie, a discussion group, or to borrow a musical instrument, they won't fail to be enchanted by the building and the library's spread of offerings. In this connection, I'm interested in supporting the creation of an accessible performance space on the library's West Lawn and to foster its use through an ambitious and well-advertised events programming. Judge Forbes wanted a library sited away from other structures to reduce the risk of fire. His wish was granted, and an unanticipated consequence of having such a wonderfully expansive lawn is that the library will soon be able to schedule outdoor events to bring yet more people into its fold. Another important way to bring more people into the library is an expansion of its hours. In particular, I hope the library can explore opening its doors on Sundays. A second facet of the Forbes' great work moves in the opposite direction, bringing the library to members of our community who cannot come to it. Here again, the Forbes team does a wonderful job. Various delivery services are already available for the sick, the homebound, or simply as needed. The library has been doing this great work since the 1960s. It would be wonderful if the Forbes could expand this in two directions. First, by establishing a robust connection to prisons or jails in our area. Make books available to incarcerated members of our community is a natural extension of the library's already impressive outreach work. Second, I'd like to explore a return of the library's bookmobile. We had one in the early 1960s, but we don't right now. A Forbes mobile would extend the reach of the library beyond those who can make it there or can manage the logistics of its ordering or delivery services, for instance, to those without homes, to shelters, centers for immigrants, to transitional housing, and so on. A Forbes mobile would be a visible presence in all the corners of our community. All these expansions of service cost money, of course. The library has been fortunate to have had wise financial stewardship. Any future Board of Trustees will need to be creative and untiring in the constant effort to make the library financially secure, both now and into the future. Thanks for taking the time to listen. I'm Alexander George, a candidate for the Board of Trustees, hoping to be of some help to our precious library.